What is up, internet? It's your boy Tenku, and today we're gonna discuss an anime that came out this season, Midara na Aochan wa Benkyo ga Dekenai. Uh, if that's how you pronounce it, I don't know. It's Aochan can't study. All right. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course hit us up on the Twitter, Facebook, and Instagrams. I've get, been getting a few DMs from you guys, which I appreciate, and I am trying to get to some the recommendations we have. Um, I do have limited time, so I appreciate the patience. I will get to them and make videos on them. Um, but be, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Ao Chan can't study. This anime is terrible. And my taste, you know, I pretty much like almost everything because whether it's, you know, a dumpster fire or not. But this just has no flavor. It has the has the tropes, you know, the stuff I like in it and things like that. It's just the way it's executed is it's terrible. Basically you have our main character Ow. Or AO. Ow. Um her father, uh, Hanasaki, is a adult uh, novelist. So from a very young age, she's been very desensitized to adult themes, you know, etchy stuff, things like that. And so she got made fun of a lot um, as a girl saying her name was Dirty and, you know, all this stuff. So it gave her a complex. So she's in high school and she avoids everybody like the plague nobody she doesn't want to interact with anybody she thinks every boy that talks to her is trying to sleep with her because of her raising the way she was raised up and she just wants to avoid everything well in comes takumi um who's our main character main guy character um and she refers to him as king of the normies uh so he's very kind of popular with the girls but he doesn't you know date a lot or anything like that and of course he ends up like an owl and they get put in the situations where, like, she misunderstands him, of course, and she's always thinking dirty things, and it's distracting her. And there's even times when, like, you know, he's just telling her, you know, I like you, you know, in the very first episode, I want to date you. And, you know, she just can't get past the fact that, you know, all the dirty thoughts are in her head because of her upbringing. Uh, and it's not funny. Um, you know, I mean, I was just dumb. I, she can't be that stupid because she's pretty book smart in the, you know, she's pretty book smart. And every situation just goes to, you know, the worst possible scenario that somebody's trying to sleep with her. Even though Takumi's proven over and over and over again that that's kind of not what he's after. There's even times where she's just giving up, says, oh, fine, go ahead, just be gentle. And he's like, you need to have more worth in yourself. That's not what I want. I want to date you because I like you, you know, I want to get to know you and all that stuff. And so it's just like, it gets... The tropes just don't work. The timing is off on the comedy. The only redeeming part of this anime is the dad, um, Hanasaki, which is like he's like a little chibi old dude, and he's funny because you know, he she keeps putting his daughter in situations where she she's like go for it, you know you want this boy to like you you know you give it basically give it up to him, and you know that's not what she wants and she you know kind of resents her dad a little bit because of it and I don't know like I said it just it just doesn't work because. There's even parts where, like, you know, Toxamisha Strip tells her, like, truths about himself. And she just uses it against him and, like, thinks that she's better than him for, like, an episode or two. And, it's just, and it's just, it just doesn't work. And then finally, you know, the, when it comes around to it, just getting to the part to what I was just kind of stringing him along. She can't really make a decision. And it's the their will they, won't they just does not work. Because there's parts where Takumi gets frustrated and upset rightfully so because he's being you know, strung along by Al and it's just it's not very good of course the background characters are not very good either there's like a, a childhood friend of Al that starts hitting on Takumi because you know it's obvious that Al likes him and she wants whatever Al has because Al was always a crybaby about her name and then of course Takumi is king of the normies so he has his friends and his friends kind of give him a hard time because Al hates everybody and he keeps trying to be her friend, gets nowhere to date her. And it's just, like I said, it just doesn't work out. So I would definitely skip this one, guys. It's not worth it. Uh, don't even check out the manga. I read like maybe two or three chapters of the manga and I was just like, eh. They, they, just, do, they just don't do the school romance comedy right in this one at all. And it's just bad. So I definitely skip it. Um, of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You know, the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Twitters. 
and everybody have an awesome, awesome day.